Welcome back. In the previous part, we picked up Desco, but we do have a scene here with the king. In the end, it's money that makes the world go round. There's not a single soul out there who can stand against it. Except for the ones who can. Like me, remember? <laughs> oh, hero, don't you know that those who resist the call of cash are the ones who end up tightest in its grasp? What the hell does that even mean? Perhaps some real-world examples will help. Money grabber number three. The common soldier who eloped with a netherworld noblewoman. How much was his everlasting love worth when her parents piled on the cash? Approximately 5,830,000. Hell, to be precise. That sounds a little too precise. I was going to say. Money grabber number two. The politician who swore he'd never give in to the man. His current catchphrase is, and I quote, Need your boots licked? Leave it to me. You cut out like 80% of the story. What the hell happened to him? And finally, our number one money grubbers. Those who once reigned over the human world. The heroes of old. Having completed their grand quest, the gallabouts filled the voids left in their hearts by squandering the royal coffers. Damn, those are some rotten heroes. That's coming from a zombie. Indeed, there were certainly a few good eggs among them too. Well, I'm not the same as those spoiled losers. I've got something more important to me than some dumb coins. And it's the exact same thing I'm fighting the God of Destruction for. Ooh. Ooh. That's intriguing. Well, we haven't got another event around. How are we doing on quests? This is the quest shop. Is there any more we can pick up? We got some new quests. Here. It's all you. Here. Look at these. It's all you now. It's hey, all speakers. you now. It's all you now. Anything to hand in? Nope. I'm counting on you. All right, so we want to have a look at the... um. Juice bar now. My, welcome. Have you been waiting long? Sorry, the juice bar is open now. We've got lots of yummy drinks for you to enjoy. All oh, that XP and money you saved up. This nice little juicing machine over here will take care of those. A character who downs that rich, thick drink will get stronger faster. Perfect for anyone who needs a boost. Come on, give it a little taste and don't waste a single drop. Boy, this might kill me. So have a drink. Okay, drink various concoctions to power up. Zed. So we can spend hell to get XP. But I don't feel like I need to do that. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I can do that, but I don't feel like I need to do that. Because of all the, the current boosts we've got because of the DLC at the top right there. It's like, we've still got 900,000 90 times. I don't feel like I need to waste my money at the juice bar. No. Right, me, so, please. let's head on out to the human world, Rich Man's Plaza. <laughs> Finally found you, your majesty! Who the hell is this guy? This guy is that guy. Hero Yarmada. The legendary hero who was tasked with defeating the God of Destruction. Hmm. Something tells me he's going to fail. Oh, come on, your majesty. I quit the hero business. That's right. Through the miracle of class changing, I am now self-sequestered domicile defender, Yarmada. I try and truncate the name if you can. Self-sequestered domicile defender? Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. Not even Yarmada, our legendary hero, could defeat the strongest god of destruction. My ability resurrected him every time he died, but it eroded his will, and now he's a self-sequestered domicile defender. Uh -huh. I see. And now he holds a personal grudge against you, hmm? 
Oh no, I'm actually quite grateful. Thanks to his majesty, I can live a comfortable life without having to work. I get it now. The one who sent those bandits after us was you! That's right! How am I supposed to maintain my current lifestyle if His Majesty loses his castle and riches? I won't allow you to ruin this. I plan on mooching off His Majesty's lap of luxury for the rest of my life. Well, I'll have to disagree because that's our entire plan. Oh, hero, how could you have turned out like this? I don't care what you have to say. I won't go easy on anyone who would rob my home of its serenity. <laughs> I don't give a crap why you're doing this. I'll crush anyone who tries to stand in my way, hero or not. Yeah. Oh. Didn't expect to jump in so quickly there. Is it just him? Well, there's a quest over here. Ah, because the Geo thingy. Alright, so let's look at the Geo block here. So what we got? What's the what's the red? Enemy boost plus 50% and XP plus 50%. This is giving the enemy boost, so I kind of want to destroy it, which will obviously destroy this geo symbol as well. So let's see about building a tower. Hey, what's the best way of getting there? Like, where's blocks I can move on? <laughs> I'll kill you. Let's start. How many characters can I even get out? Because it's that sort of thing. Like, I've got 17 characters. I could use some of the um, hollow live characters they've got to actually build a bigger tower. We're going to start with Joanna. And then putting in generic name. Let's start with these guys at the bottom, like and Jake. And these ones will be the ones we throw around, right? So Mazda. Okay, Mal. Yeah, Mal, 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 Mal. Let's end this quick. There. Let's go. Because I feel like we can't get all the way around. What's my name? Looks like it's finally time. Right. Oh, so. Yeah. I probably didn't need all that, like all those people there, for this, did I? That is behind that though. That'll get it. So I'm gonna do it. Execute. Follow me. Ha. Mm, this. Let's go. Yeah. Just your dream. Did it get? Yes. Lovely. Ooh, so close up to now. Surely we'll get that. Surely we'll get that. What if, like, I could have gone down here? I don't know. I don't know. End the turn, anyway. It's my turn! It is. It's my turn! Yeah! Oh, goodness! Ha! Hmm. Who haven't we messed around with yet? I mean, you could just do an attack on him straight away. Let's see what else we could potentially get from you. A cat snatch. We'll try. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Let's, let's just execute there. It's worth keeping... Nope. Miss. Worth keeping an eye on that kind of stuff, because we could end up with some really, really good loot as a result. Let's do an attack. Follow me. There we go. It, it seemed right that he finished it off. Do I get wind? Wind. It's clearly wind. 602 with Jake. Ooh. So throwing fiend, support line. Support line. I suppose... Trying to steal some loot is a support skill, then? Fair enough. Daring Defeater. Yeah, he took out the most units, which was one. And Mao, Destroyer of Objects. Yeah, because he took out the Geo Panels. 
<laughs> Is this all you've got, Hero? You're nothing special. And revive! Wait, how did you revive? Because I thought the king was the one who was reviving people. Whoa! He made an instant comeback! I may have become a self-sequestered domicile defender, but I was the hero. The king's ability still revives me. But it's not by choice, it just happens? But I'm not doing it on purpose! The blood of the royal family revives the hero automatically. Okay, fair enough. But I'm, again, lacking the voice work there. It's like, I, I'm not doing it on. Understand. So long as his majesty exists, it's impossible to defeat me. Really? That's good to know. Uh-oh. Zed's thinking what we're probably thinking, which is, then if we kill the king... You don't intend to kill me, do you? Oh, that's a good idea, too. But I have something better in mind. Oh? If he revives no matter how many times I kill him, then he's perfect for grinding experience! Yeah! <laughs> of course! That's actually really clever from Zed. Like, well done. His rain... His rain's not so rotten? His brain is not so rotten as we thought it was. Dear, oh dear. What was that? Hey, what are you planning to do? Cease this violence at once! The party defeated hero, Yamada. Zed earned tons of experience. And revive! Are you really going to say that every time, though? Oh no. Party defeated Hero Yamada. Zed earned tons of experience. And revive! Poor guy. Imagine being stuck in this loop as Yamada. Just constantly being like, I'm alive! Oh, I'm dead. The party defeated Hero Yamada. Zed earned tons of experience. Reminds me of those sort of like time loop stories. There was a really good one. I think it was called 1999. It was sort of like a TV movie where the guy was like stuck in a time loop for like 30 minutes. And he was trying all different ways to break the loop, thinking sort of like, oh, I can do it on Groundhog Day kind of thing. Or trying to find like what's causing it. Eventually he finds out what's causing it, which is like some experiment, and they try and turn it off and stuff like that. But the end of the story is, like, he still keeps looping. He never breaks out of the loop. It's it's kind of like a horror story, because it's like, he's stuck in a loop that loops every 30 minutes forever. And that would be hell. Ah, you're despicable, ogre, demon. Have you no conscience? I don't think he does, really, no. A conscience? <laughs> if I did, it must have rotted away! <laughs> this is no different than when I was fighting the God of Destruction! Here, Yamada fled. <laughs> Come back here, Mr. Experience Boost! Oh, how has it come to this? I absolutely cannot believe what's happening. That seems like a logical outcome in a Disgaea game. A word, Zed. Uh, the Squad Shop is now available for use. Squad Shop? Assigning characters together at the Squad Shop can confer upon you a multitude of advantages in battle. Advantages in battle, huh? Guess that means I have to check it out. Relief party unlocked in squad formation. All right. Oh, yeah, I remember squads. Uh, let's speak to the king first. Man, more money really is more problems. If it could turn a hero into low-level XP fodder. You're the one who used him to level grind in the first place. 
In any case, you are but a young lad. It should come as no surprise you don't yet know the value of money. Oh yeah? And what value is that? <laughs> you can hire the greatest allies to start, such as the most powerful zombie around, for instance. I ain't on your damn payroll, and I don't need to hire anyone. I have to be the one to take the God of Destruction down. Me. <laughs> then how about this? You can buy all the ultimate equipment you like. Oh yeah? That doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> the cash is starting to look a lot greener on the other side now, isn't it? I thought your cash was gold. Like, it looked gold. But wait, there's more! You can also buy yourself the ultimate spaceship. Ooh. A, a spaceship? Yeah, I bet you could take down the God of Destruction with enough battle cannons. Quite right. Such matters are mere trifles with a bit of wealth on your side. Leave the financial backing to me, O oh hero. My monetary might shall go down in history. I always thought money was totally worthless. But if it helps defeat the God of Destruction, maybe it isn't so bad. Indeed. Oh, no more scenes around. Okay, what was I... T I squad shop. That was it, wasn't it? Welcome! Sorry for taking so long. Welcome to the squad shop. Here you can assign your allies to squads to gain a variety of special effects. Seems to be how she was speaking. Ones that improve your base facilities, others that give you a leg up in battle, all sorts of helpful stuff. Your very own one of a kind squads are yours to make. I can't keep it going. Are yours to make, so organize away. You actually got through it all. Oh, she was saying it like that. Oh, sort of like, oh god, I gotta get through it. Increases skill XP. Relief party allies in the base panel recover every turn. Okay. Assigned members will be treated like prinnies. They will explode when you throw them. That's what that means. Enhances jump power in the fourth dimensional netherworld. Okay. Huh. Because that's here. Increase juice bar stock by 1%. I'm not using that at the moment. Okay, increase his skill. So let's put... Rasbarrel... I haven't decided. Where, 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 wambulance? I haven't put Wambulance in my group properly, have I? I don't feel. Uh, Killia. Allies in the base panel recover every turn. Don't want to be treated like a printing. Hmm, okay, so I need to clear some of the quests. I mean, we may as well put, put people in there. Not you. Um, let's get the Hollow Live characters. As the juice bar squad. May as well. There we go. They're the juice bar squad. Okay, so we can Please jump higher again. now. That's what it said. Could I jump on that before? It definitely said well, I could jump higher, didn't it? The squad shop. Was it the bottom, wasn't it? No, there. Enhances jump power in the fourth dimensional level world. Thank I mean, I need more much. jump power from elsewhere to do stuff, so... I'm just wondering if like, there's stuff around I can jump up to. Okay. Because normally in these places... Aha! There's chests hidden around. I've just remembered that aspect, so it's like, okay, okay. And they change based on your episode, don't they? So I want to have a look around. I want to have a proper scout around. Maybe even in here? It seems to be anywhere to jump up there. Get out of way. Okay. Is there anything... Anywhere else? Maybe it's just that at this point. There doesn't seem to be much where else to go. No. I thought maybe I could jump from there onto that. No, I think maybe that's the only chest at the moment. Like, cause I can't see a way of getting over this barrier to head down to the side. Hmm. Okay, so let's head to the dimension to guide and carry on in the human world. Bourgeois Aqueduct. Is that bourgeois? Seems like it's bourgeois. <laughs> Corner. 
honored you now, Mr. Experience Boost. You fiend! Alright, I've got no choice! I'll show you my true power! Hmm. Seems the hero's finally taking this seriously. Zed and the group were surrounded by demons. Who are these... people? They're just some powerful demons I hired with the pocket money you gave me, your majesty. And you're saying that this is your true power? You're darn right! I will do whatever's necessary to protect my majesty mooching lifestyle! Anything! Any Anything's kind of worry. Oh, Hero Yarmara, your patheticness brings me to tears. That's it, just straight into the battle. Okay, so we've got to destroy more of these. Right, what we got, what we going, what, 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 Is there a clear one anywhere? I don't see a clear one around. So it is just, we've got to choose which one we want to change to what. Ally boost, enemy weaken. Ooh. So we could very much put that on on them, and then line us up ready for that. So I'm gonna do that. So let's. Can I sign the groups here? Sort auto battle, set battle group. I can. So if I get ambulance, I didn't want to do that. Set, well, yeah, it says auto. I should have paid attention to that more. I will sort that later, but... Okay, then, so let's see. Here I go! I may as well, like, start lifting these, then. <laughs> so now the green ones have got enemy weaken. Right? No. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. Yeah. No, the, the, green, the green ones have got enemy weaken because of that. So, okay. Let's move you there and lift up that onto you. So now we've got the ally boost on the blue ones, which is good. Okay, let's start sending our group out. See how lovely it all works out. It's magic, isn't it? Isn't it, God, it's magic. Heading out. Actually, let's see about grouping us up a bit more in terms of I'll towers and stuff, you. because then I could throw them further up. My turn, is it? It is, yeah. Generic name. Get generic name on that one. Okay, so let's see about getting Wambulance out. Ramen. Ramen. They completely neglected him. The god. About him. Oh, we got Desco as well, haven't we? I really need to sort the groups. Desco, 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 Desco. Let's lift up Desco. Throw. Let's lift up Joanna. Lift up Desco. Throw onto you. At the same time, let's lift Zed. Throw Zed onto that. You've already thrown. Okay, so I think we're good there. Let's move them up a little bit. Let's get both sides going a little bit. Let's throw all the way over there. Let's put you there. And there, and there. Yeah. Right, we're in position quite nicely, I feel. we got a good group setup going, so enter. Let's see how we do. Damn it. Hey. Seem to be dodging quite it's nicely. Mine. Oh. It's Let's mine. Come on, Desco. Damn it. Here goes! Mm -hmm. Q. 
Okay, so let's see about like these these guys down here. Let's lift a Rasparrow. Actually, no. Rasparrow lift the king! Then you lift Rasparrow. Roman, you lift Jake. Let's get over to Mao there. Mao, you throw them down a bit. Get over there. Get these guys spaced out a little if we can. Let's... Let's go here. Okay, special. The King Cannon. Oh, we've got loads of options, actually. Based on that. Let's... Let's... Go after the flip phone user there. Zip. It's hard to see where I am, I? There you are. Zed? Could you... Hmm... Hmm... I think that's what's the best in terms of trying to get as many people as possible. I'm thinking here... Because then I can put it there, but I'm next to two other characters as well, so we get, like, combos and stuff. So don't move into that spot if you can't... Oh, we can't get by him anyway. So let's move up Killia. Have you there at least. And... Put you next to Desco. Let's go do this skill. There, because I should get those ones over there. If they combine, we'll get more damage and stuff. Everyone group up nicely. Can you actually move still? Yeah, you can, can't you? You can't throw. But that's fine. Astral impact, though. Just wondering, like, I don't want to accidentally hit one of my guys. So if I do it there... That's probably still the best. I'm gonna do an execute on this, because I don't feel like... All these attacks are gonna go out, and we've still got characters we can actually use, so execute. Behold my riches! There! Very much feels like a blitz ball move that. Bye bye, annihilation! It's game over. <laughs> it's hard to choose the music for the intro on the YouTube videos. Very hard because it's sort of like not really a good piece of music for it. Like there's good music in this game, but like a good piece of music that would be good for an intro. Very difficult, very, very difficult. Okay, so let's see about just moving you guys back. So who we still got to move with? You've got to move, and you two have a move. Okay, I mean, we could try and bring them over to here, but it's like, with our power right now, we could still do more damage, just be normal. And just do everything normally. So it's like, if I get you... Let's, let's look at Killia's moveset here. That'd probably be a good one. I'm trying to take out these two over here. But can I do it from here? Because I'm thinking of lifting him. Meow. So if I throw you... Can I get you in range of anything good? Suppose I can go there. Hmm. I'm gonna go there. I'll move you up there. Mm, I don't want to hit the king, but... We'll do that. Now do Hellfire. That's a shame. It's like, I wanted to get there, but it's like, okay, so we'll do it on... Hero Yamada. Should do as nicely. So we've moved with everyone, so let's execute. Just I won't get in the habit of using quick. execute rather than end yeah. turn, because it's like stuff could happen that change things. Yeah. Can't yeah. fight on an empty stomach. Let's go! Annihilation fireball! Ah. You lose. Uh. 
I knew I should have stayed home. He came back to life. Of course he came back to life. How do we defeat him then? Do I kill the king in order to... That would be interesting if I kill the king in order to do that. That would be interesting. Right, enter. Except, see if that maybe gets some better gear for the king. Beginning experiment! Experiments! Let's see about bringing Mao up. Because we, we can move with him on our shoulders, it's just, it, that feels so strange. Yeah. So let's throw into a better position over there, and you can use your skill here, which again feels very strange. So let's actually do that. Can I move there? Can I get that over there now? Hmm. Thinking there, then would that be okay? I mean, I get one of the guys. Fine. Fine. I'm just trying to be in range and stuff like I want to be around Mao, though. But that one's okay. So I don't want to be stood there with Mao, though. You know what I, I'm neglecting to do, thinking about it? That I like to do. Huh. I can just throw you on, onto you. I'm wondering if I can. If I can, it'll level him up, but who cares at this point? I can't throw you onto it, but I can throw it onto you. And I'm going to throw you onto you. Because that should... I should be fine. Should be fine taking that guy out. It's like we've got options now. Because Razzbarrel... Actually, I should execute because I can't remember which skills I've done and where. And it's like, I want to be sure. So let's let's do it. Go easy on them! <laughs> Secret weapon! Let's go! See? Annihilation Fireball! That all you got? Oh, destroyed there. That works very nicely. Right, so, the question is, what do we do about this guy? Because he's invulnerable. No, he's not invulnerable, he just... He will not stop. He's like the Terminator. So it's like, I could try and kill the king. Because that would make sense. If I kill the king, then he can't come back, right? Right? But I lose my wallet. I don't want to lose my wallet. Okay, we still got Desco who can do stuff. Where can we move with Desco? Like that would get Mal. Hmm. I think there's a good spot I can get him again. Don't think there is at the moment. What does he about taking from him? Nothing special, nothing special. Although that will actually get you a medal if you do that, so may as well. Go for the kitchen knife. I could actually just bring in Desco and just do a normal attack, right? Why can't I go there? Just realized I've still got a thing going there. Why can't I go there? What's so special about that spot? I don't know. It's strange. There's nothing special about that spot in front of me. I don't know. I'm going to execute. Eat this! Hmm. Perfect score! Intriguing. You came back to life. Yay! 
There's gotta be something with that spot. skills there. We don't know. Alright, well, we'll move Desco there. It's like strange, like, because it's not like he's on two panels. Okay, so let's enter and see what happens. I got this. My turn. Yeah. So die again. Let's do this! Hmm... I can go there now. Why couldn't I go there before? Alright, so we're just gonna do normal attacks surrounding him now. Thanks, we'll bunch everyone up. That's not what I want. We'll see how this works. I mean, I'm thinking, like, do we have to kill the king? Okay, so, check. I was hoping so much that it was just going to be the king was the, the thing that would, would have to undo it. Like, kill the king, then you can kill him, and the king's like, Dude! What the hell? Oh dear. 775 now, so we've got Daring Defeater, Throwing Fiend, and Damage Dealer. <laughs> it's mine! All mine! The mustache's castle and money, and all of your experience, too! Yeesh, you're definitely the villain here. Oh, you used to be such a kind zombie. You couldn't even hurt a fly. Damn it! I won't let you take any of my stuff! The castle, the money, they're all mine! No, no! Those things are mine! Your Majesty! Please don't abandon me! There's no way I could go on living without your support! Forgive me, Armada. I have decided to go on an adventure with Zed! and become a hero myself. What? Your Majesty a hero? What sort of idiotic nonsense is this? I at least just said it, because it is sort of like, really. I have money, fame, status, territory, authority, and even enviable facial hair. And it's all thanks to money. Money makes the world go around. At least it does for him. However, the power of money is... Not the power I truly desire. I... I wish to become strong. To become a hero like you once were. I don't care what you want! I need you, your majesty. I need you to take care of me for the rest of my life! Really? Can't just mooch off of him forever? That's our job! Was this guy really a hero? When I first met him, Yarmada was most certainly a hero beyond compare. I truly admired his dignified demeanor and strength from the bottom of my heart. But now... No, 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 no! I don't want to be a hero anymore! I just want my allowance! Please! Pretty please! You can't... No, mate. Get a job. And it was all because I forced him to fight the God of Destruction. Oh, the tragedy of it all. <laughs> if a few losses was all it took to break his will, he was just weak to begin with. Too true. A word, Zed. The item world are... Ooh, here we go. Is now available for use. The item world, appropriately enough, will power up your items. That said, it can also help level you and your allies. Item world. Hades, whatever. I'll go anywhere if it helps me make me stronger. Yes. Skip Innocent Towns feature has been added to the cheat shop. Innocent... 
farm squad has been unlocked in the squad formation, then the quest has been done. Right, so now is the point where we actually go off and this do the, the um, DLC one again, though, isn't it? We got so, some new quests. Let's pick all here, these up. Here, it's all you. Here, it's all you. Here, here, it's all you. Here, it's all you. Here, it's all you. It's all you. And let's see what we got here. Force of habit is done. Great job. Great job. You want a legendary item? Take the gold bar. Take the gold Great bar. Great job. Whatever. I'm counting on you. Whatever. I should check. Yeah, I was gonna this say like this new ones appeared show. straight away as a result of that. We got some new quests. Kill ten warriors. Okay. Here. It's Fair all enough. you. That should be you. easy enough. That should be easy enough. Right. So, which one do we want to do Mommy. now? Right. Let's go. Dimensional signpost. Hmm. I'm thinking Pretty World Frontier. That's gonna be Fuka, clearly. But I'm thinking Pretty World Frontier. Yes. One day, Zed was assaulted all of a sudden by a mysterious pack of rabbits and was helplessly smothered to death by furballs. Having super reincarnated into Prinny World, Zed appointed a Prinny ally to be captain of the newly formed Adventure Dudes Team Zed. They now head into the depths of Prinny World to boldly go where no demon has gone before. Netherworld Special! In the depths of Prinny World, Legendary man-eating rabbits really do exist. Okay. Private Zed, be careful, dude. We have crossed into the unknown. Anything can happen in this untrodden land. You drop your guard for an instant, and you're a goner. The path to the den of those man-eating rabbits is perilous, dude. And Captain Prinny. Prinny Age 1977 is also called Non-Explosive Blade due to his sharp gaze and having never exploded on a mission. Uh, no matter how you look at it, this journey's been nothing but peaceful. And who the hell gave us that exposition? Private Zed, age unknown, willingly demoted himself to private after creating the team due to his inability to face the situation. Don't underestimate the depths of pretty well, dude. Countless prinnies have exploded here. Yeah, but printers explode everywhere. Hmm? Huh? Just then, Captain Printer's sharp senses detected a threatening presence approaching Private Zed. Private Zed, look out, dude! <laughs> Phew, you're about to trip over a large rock, dude. You could have been wounded by the fall. While adventuring, let your guard down equals death. You can't stop being careful, not even for a second, dude. Dude. Though completely harmless in everyday life, rocks are deadly in the depths of Prinny World. Captain Prinny saved Private Zed's life. I might not have tripped over that rock, but it definitely hurt when you rammed into me. You don't have time to chit-chat, dude. Now hurry up! Those man-eating rabbits should be just up ahead, dude. Uh oh. Now nah, I was I was wondering like who the hell like is this DLC character that's coming? It's like Planer. Makes sense completely now. Huh? You're not a prinny. You're just a normal girl. Hey, what are you doing way out here? You must have some reason, right? Triple dot. Uh, are you seriously ignoring me? Hmm, she did have a strange aura. <laughs> Dude. A shock ran through Captain Prinny's spine. The woman in front of them was a veritable living legend. Hmm, <laughs> Miss Planaire. <laughs> I finally encountered her. Hurry up, dude. After her. Planaire? Who the hell is she? Planaire. Classification mascot character. A cool headed girl with a mysterious air. Seems to show up everywhere, but says nothing. Girl is known as Miss Planaire. Awed and feared throughout the Netherworlds, as the creator's messenger, she's a beautiful blue haired girl who wears a red ribbon. However, no one knows her true origin. She is simply accepted as an inviolable legend to this very day. 
Reported sightings of her date back from over 20 years, and her legions of zealous fans include humans, demons, and even angels. Rumor has it she also controls fiendish rabbits and sharks, but there is no proof of that matter. And that's the story, dude! Seriously, what's up with that weird narration that's been popping up for a while now? Sorry, Zed! That's my voice! Deal with it! Oh, I do find that funny, though. The, the amount of, like, I go through phases throughout the year. It's like every few months, like, the discussions, like, around my voice change. Like, in comments and such. They just change. From, it's either, like, one extreme to the other is the best way of putting it. it is, there is a pattern of, like, three months. Like, doing stuff long enough, you'll pay attention to this, and you'll notice it. It goes from being like, oh, your voice is amazing, I love your voice, you could be a voice actor, to then the opposite end, like three months later, of stop putting on the fake voice. Why are you faking your voice? It's like, I, what? It's like, you're not really British. It's like, I, I am. <laughs> I am British. I don't, how do I, pr like, do you think just because I'm going on about tea all the time? That, that's, that I'm not British, that, that's just a joke? Because I do like tea. I do like Yorkshire Gold. I am British. But, you know, some people are strange like that. Anyway. It's best not to worry about it, dude. Right now, all that matters is that the rabbits that attacked you were most likely Miss Planaire's henchmen, dude. So that's what happened. She's pretty nasty for someone who looks harmless. Anyway, long story short, if we chase that Planaire chick, we'll find the rabbits I'm hunting, right? Precisely, dude. In that case, let's follow her. Who cares if she has impressive sounding titles like Creator's Messenger and Inviable Legend. <laughs> I'll kill her to kill you. Bite all that crap. Yeah, dude. Adventures, dude. Team Z. Let's roll out, dude. Dude. When Captain Prinny and his team follow Planaire into the depths of Prinny World, paying little heed to the harsh environment. Ow! Th this is terrible, dude. Private Zed was stung by a netherworld scorpion that appeared out of nowhere. We should hang back, dude! We don't have an antidote. What should we? The nearest village is over an hour away, dude. Adventure, dude. Team Zed is falling apart. Well, it's not like Venoms really work on me, being a zombie and all. Alright, dude. Yeah, no blood. We discussed that earlier, didn't we? This river is full of flesh-eating piranhas. Be extremely careful. If you fall in, you'll be dead for sure, dude. Do they like rotten flesh, though? In that case, let's just take a detour around it. Oh, that'll work, dude. Private Zed, uh, look, dude. There's a fresh set of bones right there. Could some many monsters live around here? Uh, therefore it's full of monsters. Yeah, I guess you're right, dude. After overcoming countless dangers, Captain Prinny and Private Zed finally laid their eyes on Miss Planaire. Triple dot. Yeah! M Miss Planaire, I finally found you! This time absolutely won't let you get away. Hey, wait. She's my target, remember? Triple dot. What? Dude? Just then, the members of Team Z witnessed the impossible. Uh-oh. You're surrounded, dude. Countless rabbits erupted out of the ground and proceeded to swarm Captain Prinny. Impossible, dude! What are you trying to do, dude? Captain Prinny was helplessly engulfed by the horde. The sight was nearly identical to what happened to Private Zed. Captain Prinny's life is very much in danger. P P Private Zed, p please help me. Dude. <laughs> Do something about it yourself. At least, that's what I'd usually say, but given that I am a private under your command... There we go. Guess I got no choice. Guess I'll have to save your life while I get payback on all these critters for what they did to me before. Yep, triple dot. Man, you never say a word, do you? 
I'll crush you! Well, at least now I know that you're strong. Things won't go like last time. This time I'm going all out from the start. Yep. What fate awaits, Captain Prinny? Why did Miss Planaire attack? The truth will be revealed right after this heated battle. Maybe they, people mean that with my accent. It's like, that's that's an affectation. I'm doing that for a laugh. Like this right now, just in case you're wondering, like this is my normal voice. I'm not putting any accent on. I'm not projecting. I'm not trying to clear it up for people or anything like that. The, the only thing that's probably happening right now is um, probably raising my voice slightly so the microphone's at a certain level. And I'm also trying to pick words in my own head that aren't local to where I am. Because I've got, like, local words that, like, you just probably wouldn't understand. My mind sort of filters them out naturally. Like, not many... I, I don't know. Like, this might be a more well-known word these days. Like, the word Mardi. In the past, I've really wanted to say, like, someone's having a Mardi. But that's a very, very sort of, like... Midlands, Northern Britain, sort of... Well, Northern England, I'd say, more often. Because not, I don't know if it's... Mardi's really that much of a word in Scotland. But anyway, definitely like Northern England and the Midlands. That word is known. But outside of that, and like, like the rest of the UK, the rest of the world, I don't know. So I try and like filter out words like that. Because it's like, I want people to understand what I'm saying. But right now, this is this is my legit, genuine voice. Just, just in case you're wondering. Right, so. Way, I've still not sorted pride. the groups, have I? I really should sort the groups. La, 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 la. I love this song. La, 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 um, let's get That's desk up. Okay, so now. Let's head over there. Get Raspberry. Do 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 do. Let's end this quick. <laughs> I'll modify Throwing you. is definitely a good way to get everyone moved Name into the correct price. positions very, very quickly. How are we? So let's actually lift you. Put you there. Um. And if you're wondering what um. Mardi is, by the way, it means sort of like upset, like someone's having a Mardi, like they are upset. Almost sort of, almost, like it's just before like they're having a tantrum. I'm trying to put it in the right context. See, it's, it's hard to describe, it's just got its own sort of thing. Like someone's got a strop on, but I don't know if strop, <laughs> strop's got to be like a universal word, isn't it? Have they got a strop on? I don't know. I don't know now. Yeah. You'll let me know. You'll let me know. Right, so. Gathered around quite nicely. Let's see if we can actually just lift you as well and get you thrown up a bit. Yeah. So it makes stuff a bit easier later on. Right, who have we got around and who do we want last? Let's start with the king. Uh, what's he got now? We'll do King Cannon. Do King Cannon there. Rice Barrel can do her recycle. Uh, you've had your move. Okay. Right, so let's see about Blast Finger. End turn, because I think we're done here. Go easy on them. Behold my riches. There. Join me. Join me. I didn't even check what level she is. Like, cause that that would have a big effect, actually, think about it, wouldn't it? Ooh. Oh dear. Oh no. Ooh. Being in the line was not good yet, and she's behind. 775. Well, we should be alright then. And we can actually get more people further up now, so. 
Let's see. So maybe we want to get Desco going here so we can get a few Desco skills. Let's actually move you there. Okay, so let's start with Desco. Oh yeah, of course. We've put it there though. Can't we? That. Is that good? Yeah, it's not going to hit anyone else. So we can put Desco skill there. Into Thunder Rush. That should knock you into Desco, so we should be okay. It's actually. Move people into position so they can help support. You can stay down there. I need some more movement with you. Um, right, so. I was thinking that we could potentially do Raspberries as well. So I do keep forgetting about that aspect of like I don't need to be directly next to them. This man may be able to add to it as well. No, 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 no. But we can do exploding tiger. Right. I'm gonna go with Enter. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Gonna kill you. Gonna kill you. Closer to a final boss. Got it. Indeed. That was it? Oh. Ooh, we're up into the 700s ourselves now. Raspberry 750. Oh, no, we're at 800 there. Cool. Damage dealer, throwing fiend, and mover and shaker. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Looks like I win, Miss Planair. I'll be taking Captain Prinny back now. Why the hell do you look so confused? Obviously won the battle. Where's... What, what, what's that a question, Miss Planet? Huh? Why the hell am I calling you Miss? Zed realized he unintentionally began referring to Miss Planet as Miss Planet. Did this mean he had submitted to her mentally? Or did she earn his respect through combat? Zed himself did not know. The one thing that is certain is that there are still countless mysterious powers in this universe that are beyond our understanding. Private Zed and his team struggles to uncover these mysteries have only just begun. Netherworld special. Theme. Hey, wait just a minute, dude. Don't you think it's mean to forget about your captain like that? Oh yeah, sorry. Now that I think about it, you were about to die, right? Well, you're alive now, so it's fine, ain't it? Besides, getting to fight Miss Planair is good enough for me. What are you talking about, dude? Adventure dudes, Team Zed's battles are only just beginning. Uh-oh. Yeah! I mean, we finally came face to face with Miss Planair, who I've been chasing after for so long. Hmm? Did you... just say been chasing after for so long? That's right, dude. I did send her tons of letters every day, and I always make sure to call her before going to bed at night. The moment I heard she moved to Prinny World, I ran out without an appointment and tried to hand her a welcome gift, dude. That's the very definition of true love, don't you think? And now Miss Planair attacked me with tons of rabbits, dude. I somehow managed to survive by using Private Zed as a decoy. Normally I'd be dead. Can you believe it, dude? Uh-oh. Oh no. Huh? What's wrong, Private Zed? Has the tale of my passionate pursuit of love moved you to tears, dude? Farewell, Captain Prinny. Captain Prinny. That isn't called a pursuit of love. I'll kill you a it's million called times! Stalking! What? <laughs> no, you, you don't understand. I'm merely an adventurer, so I seek to explore the labyrinth of love with. Impossible, dude! Cool. <laughs> He's gone. Adventure dudes, Team Z is officially disbanded. Now I'm no longer your private. So, the reason you attacked me was because that prinny I was with was bothering you, huh? Sorry for 
challenging you without knowing this whole story. If we get another chance, let's battle each other again. Miss Planaire made no discernible movement. Private Zed believed she smiled ever so slightly. Seeing that smile, Zed took it as an apology for accidentally attacking him, and that Miss Planaire was asking to join his group. Uh, like hell, I got, I got any of that. First of all, is she even smiling? Quit all the random ass narration, damn it. No, I refuse, Zed. I'm gonna carry on. Miss Planaire joined Zed and his allies. Wait, you really are joining us? I, I, I can't tell what the hell she's thinking. The ever mysterious Miss Planaire. Though adventure dudes, Team Zed disbanded, the struggles of Private Zed are just beginning. Netherworld special Finn for real this time. Thank you for watching till the very end. Today's narration was provided by me, Usagi. Netherworld special will return with the killer adventure series, the killer spice that blooms in blood parch. Oh. Oh, I wanted to watch that. Well, maybe in future, but for now, rendering this part here, probably a bit of a long one. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part, same pattern. Ta-da for now.